musicians. Keep down. Then stay down. How many are there? More than us. That's for sure. Rebels? Lay down your arms, rebels, or you're all dead men. Don't fire unless fired upon. But if they want war, let it begin here. Let's give it another try. We've been pulling for two hours, sir. That storm's not gonna come out. <laughs> I'll give you the signal. I tried, Professor. Mr. Washington! Mr. Washington! What's the trouble? What's wrong? It's war, ma'am. The British fired on Lexington. We need Mr. Washington. <clears throat> I humbly accept your call. I will lead this army. But I beg that each of you will remember, I do not think myself equal to this command. As for the pay, you have offered me, I cannot accept it. To serve is honor enough. I love this country. I love my country. All due respect, General. If I knew you were gonna put all these cannons in place in one night, I never would have brought them. It'll be worth it, General Knox. In the morning, it'll all be worth it. <laughs> A message for you, General Howe. They must have worked through the night. Give out the orders. All soldiers are to board ship and leave the city. You mean leave? Without even firing a shot? I mean retreat, Lieutenant, and prepare to attack. I'll finish Washington for good.
General Washington. Sir? This just came from Philadelphia. That should keep the British away for a while. I have to admit, I, I didn't think it was possible, but that's the last one, General. Ain't a boat left on the British side. Good work, General Glover. Get some rest now, both of you. Put that thing away. I hope we're not here too long. No longer than January 1. You... you know that for a fact? That's when my enlistment ends. But we won't have won the war by then. Boy, <laughs> we ain't never gonna whip the red coat. Come New Year's Day, I'm cashing out and heading for home. And if you want to live to see the spring, you'll do likewise. Now, let me get this straight. It took me a week to get those boats across so the redcoats wouldn't come over and rip us to pieces. Am I right so far? Stop me if I ain't right. You're right. Now you want me to take the whole army back across so you can attack the aforementioned larger foe. That's right. Is he fighting the same war as us? We have no other choice, General Glover. In a week, half of this army will be free to go home. And most of them probably will. Because Congress just ran out of money. No soldier fights for free. Unless, unless we have a victory. I'm with you, General Washington. Let's go get him. Watch how you stand now, soldier. This is a boat, not a wagon. It's an army of 1,500 or so. Hessians. Germans hired by the British. All right, Henry. You know what to do. Soon my country will enter this war, General Washington. 
and our suffering will be over. I hope so, Lafayette. I dearly hope so. General Washington, your wife sends a message. She'll be here in a few weeks. Thank you, Alexander. Also, your belongings have arrived, sir. We'll get everything moved inside. At least you'll have a warm bed to sleep in tonight. Don't bother. Sir? I'll move in when all the soldiers' huts are finished. That could take weeks, sir. Thank you for your report, Alexander. Henry? Washington can do only two things well. Lose and retreat. I disagree. His victories at Trenton and Princeton were pure genius. But where is Washington now, Mr. Lawrence? Spending another winter in the snow, while the British sit comfortably in our capital city. Let me remind you, Mr. Conway. General Washington is Commander-in-Chief. Your job as Inspector General is to make sure he and his troops are well-trained and well-supplied. I suggest you get out to Valley Forge and help Mr. Washington find a way to win this war. <clears throat> I've arrived. I want to see the men in training with their guns. You'll have to wait a week until they finish the huts. Mr. Washington, my experience tells me that the men must be drilled day and night, no matter what the cost. The cost is death, General. I hardly believe. Mr. Conway, to put it plainly, I don't care what you believe. And why Congress appointed you to such a high position when you obviously disapprove of me is a mystery. I think, General, that... I think you can best do your job by riding back to your board of war and telling them that we're starving. Ask them how they expect to win this war when their soldiers are too weak to stand. <laughs> That way. <coughs> Soon as I get my pay, I'm leaving. <coughs> Getting out of here before it's me they're burying. Supply wagon! Oh, oh wagon. <coughs> oh, it's spoiled. So's the fish. That does it. President Lawrence has asked me for a report on your trip to Valley Forge. Quite successful. I was forced to rebuke Washington for failing to drill his men. <laughs> All I get from Valley Forge are complaints. They say I'm not sending enough food. Washington's men have no heart. So, you don't suggest to increase the supply? No. I think not. 
What they need is a bit more determination. Not much of a birthday, is it? You are my present, Martha. Eleven men died today. Three thousand are confined to their beds. Not with wounds, mind you. But with hunger and frostbite. It's dying, Martha. Our nation's dream is dying. And our greatest men are going with it. I'm wishing the general a happy birthday, ma'am. Thank you. Two thousand soldiers dead at a time when no battles are being fought. Once again, Washington has failed. This is my resignation. Sign it. I refuse. My nation needs me. Your conniving, Mr. Conway has cost this nation the best blood it has to offer. You should feel lucky I don't push to have you hanged. Now sign. You know, that German fellow that Benjamin Franklin sent to drill the troops... Von Steuben. He's Prussian. Oh, well, wherever he's from, the soldiers like him. Achtung, Achtung! Hamilton, come! I'm sorry, Major. I only understand French. Oh, where are their bayonets? We, we. We don't use them for fighting. We use them for digging holes, making fire pits. Il les use pour creuser de trous. <laughs> Achtung! Je vous apprendrai comment utiliser les bayonnettes. I will teach you how to use the bayonet. Nous allons nous entraîner avec du matin au soir. We will drill with it from morning till night. Quand nous aurons terminé cet entraînement, Vous serez la meilleure armée que ce continent n'aura jamais vu. We will be the greatest army this continent has ever seen. He's got their minds off their stomachs. General Washington! General Washington! 
uniforms from my country. France will fight with us. France will enter the war. First, we'll attack with a battalion of 5,000. We'll make them think that's all we've got. But then I'll bring up the second battalion. General Lee, the honor of leading the attack falls to you. I dislike your plan, General Washington. What's to dislike? They're running from us. We've got them exactly where we want them. <laughs> you forget, General Washington. I was once an officer in the British Army. I understand their ways. They're far superior in every way to our little army. Then I will lead them. Very well, Lafayette. Monmouth Courthouse, then, at dawn. Excuse me. Wait just a minute. You're not going to let an inexperienced officer... Experience is second to courage in this war, General Lee. I have plenty of both, I assure you. I will lead the 1st Battalion. It is my right as a general. It's all right. I prefer to be with you, General Washington. There. The dust is rising. Lee's begun. Let's move. General Washington, sir. Down there. Wait here for my signal. What's happening, General Lee? Why all this confusion? Sir, sir, I... Why are you retreating? I... I'm used to better soldiers. I was forced to retreat. To the back, General Lee. I warned you against this attack. You shouldn't have undertaken it unless you were willing to see it through. To the back! Premier battery, commence. First battery, prepare to fire. Commence. Fire. Fall in line, men. This revolution is no longer running. Fall in line. Lafayette, the right flank. Wayne, take the left flank. Positions, men. Stay low. Dieser Mann, Washington, the greatest. Washington. I shall miss you, each of you. I'm not very good at such things, so if you'll excuse me, I've written a few words. This war has turned me into an old man. <laughs>
Merry Christmas, Martha. George! I get from Valley Forge are complaints. They say I'm not sending enough food. Washington's men have no heart. So, you don't suggest to increase the supply? No, I think not. What they need is a bit more determination. of a birthday, is it? You are my present, Martha. Eleven men died today. Three thousand are confined to their beds. Not with wounds, mind you. But with hunger and frostbite. It's dying, Martha. Our nation's dream is dying, and our greatest men are going with it. I'm wishing the general. Uh... Happy birthday, ma'am. Thank you.
ऊपर रिस्पेक्ट जनरल If I knew you were going to put all these cannons in place in one night, I never would have brought them. <sighs> it'll be worth it, General Knox. In the morning, it'll all be worth it. <laughs> A message for you, General Howe. They must have worked through the night. Give out the orders. All soldiers are to board ship and leave the city. You mean leave? Without even firing a shot? I mean retreat, Lieutenant, and prepare to attack. I'll finish Washington for good. Fall back, men! General Washington, sir, this just came from Philadelphia. Of my country. Respect, General. If I knew you were going to put all these cannons in place in one night, I never would have brought them. It'll be worth it, General Knox. In the morning, it'll all be worth it. <laughs> A message for you, General Howe. They must have worked through the night. Give out the orders. All soldiers are to board ship and leave the city. You mean leave? Without even firing a shot? I mean retreat, Lieutenant, and prepare to attack. I'll finish Washington for good. Fall back, men!
General Washington. Sir? I love my country. All due respect, General. If I knew you were gonna put all these cannons in place in one night, I never would have brought them. It'll be worth it, General Knox. In the morning, it'll all be worth it. <laughs> A message for you, General Howe. They must have worked through the night. Give out the orders. All soldiers are to board ship and leave the city. You mean leave? Without even firing a shot? I mean retreat, Lieutenant, and prepare to attack. I'll finish Washington for good. General Washington. Sir? Not much of a birthday, is it? You are my present, Martha. Eleven men died today. Three thousand are confined to their beds. Not with wounds, mind you, but with hunger and frostbite. It's dying, Martha. Our nation's dream is dying, and our greatest men are going with it. Wishing the general a happy birthday, ma'am. Thank you.
2,000 soldiers dead at a time when no battles are being fought. Once again, Washington has failed. This is my resignation. Sign it. I refuse. My nation needs me. Your conniving, Mr. Conway, has cost this nation the best blood it has to offer. President Lawrence has asked me for a report on your trip to Valley Forge. Quite successful. I was forced to rebuke Washington for failing to drill his men. <laughs> All I get from Valley Forge are complaints. They say I'm not sending enough food. Washington's men have no heart. So, you don't suggest to increase the supply? No. I think not. What they need is a bit more determination. Not much of a birthday, is it? You are my present, Martha. Eleven men died today. Three thousand are confined to their beds. Not with wounds, mind you. But with hunger and frostbite. It's dying, Martha. Our nation's dream is dying. And our greatest men are going with it. I'm wishing the general a happy birthday, ma'am. Thank you. with wounds, mind you, but with hunger and frostbite. It's dying, Martha. Our nation's dream is dying, and our greatest men are going with it. Wishing the general a happy birthday, ma'am. Thank you.
Two thousand soldiers dead. At a time when no battles are being fought. Once again, Washington has failed. This is my resignation. Sign it. I refuse. My nation needs me. Your conniving, Mr. Conway, has cost this nation the best blood it has to offer. You should feel lucky I don't push to have you hanged. Now sign. You know, that German fellow that Benjamin Franklin sent to drill the troops... Von Steuben. He's Prussian. Oh, well, wherever he's from, the soldiers like him. Achtung, Achtung! 